Now till now we have seen a few things which I am going to explain here again. Mm -hmm. So let us suppose we are having this program main int a five. That means a is an array, and storing the values four, three, two, one, zero. Okay. That means this a is an array, and it is storing the base. This a is storing the base address of this array. So this is location one thousand. This will be one thousand two. This will be one thousand four. This will be one thousand six, and this will be one thousand eight. So these are the next locations: zero, one, two, three, four, and the values stored are four, three, two, one, and zero. Right? Now, if I print print f percent d comma star of a. In the next line, I am printing printf percent d comma a zero. In the next line, I am printing printf percent d comma a two. In the next line, I am printing printf percent d comma star of a plus two. Okay. Now, if you execute this program, then what will be the output? So, in the first statement, I am printing the value which is stored at the location which is pointed by a. Therefore, it will now print four, right? It will print four. In the second statement, I am printing the values which is stored at the index location zero. Therefore, it is also going to print four. In the third state, third statement. I am printing the value which is stored at the index location two. Therefore, it is now going to print two, right? Now, in the in this statement, the statement is equivalent to star of a plus two into size of int, right? So, which is equivalent to star of one thousand plus two into two in this case, for example, two, which is equal to star of one thousand four plus four, which is star of one thousand four. That means I am going to print the value which is stored at the location one thousand four. Therefore, it is now going to print two, right? But if you look closely, you will find that these statements are equivalent, and these statements are going uh, printing the value at the same location. That means when I am saying star of a, this can be written as star of a plus zero, which is equivalent to saying a of zero. When I am saying So star of a plus two, which is equivalent to saying a two. That is, I am accessing the index locations two. When I am saying star of a plus three, which is equivalent to saying a three, I am accessing the index location three. When I am saying star of a plus one, this is equivalent to saying a one. I am accessing the index location one. Right? Now, in this case. You can see clearly that these arrays and pointers are very much interrelated to each other now. This we can replace these statements, these statements with this one, this statement with this one, and we get the same output, right? And now we'll uh, in the next coming lectures we'll be exploring more det uh, all all these arrays is in more, in more details by using uh, uh, malloc function. And how to give uh, declare an array using a malloc function? Because using a malloc function, you can kind of declare an array. Okay. Now let us uh, solve uh, some previous questions on this. Okay. Right. 